Hi there, my name's Nick Broad and today we're down in Kent at H Engineering talking to Tony about time cert repair. So here we are actually inside the workshop at H Engineering and a lovely facility it is too. Uh, this is Tony who is the owner of H Engineering. So can you tell us a little bit about your business Tony? Uh, yeah, hi Nick. Um, yeah, H Engineering been going since um, 1986. We primarily restore and rebuild classic cars and race cars. Um, yeah, we do everything from engine building, gearbox, rebuilds, down to bodywork and yeah, the whole shooting match. So uh, actually using quality tools is a, is a good thing for you? Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, especially with what we're doing today, time certs, because thread repairs is very difficult, you know, it's something you're called upon a lot. And probably some of your stuff is not no longer available, so you either have to fabricate it or... Yeah, or rebuild it or make it. Yeah, yeah. okay. So Tony, you've been using time cert for quite a while, yeah? Uh, yeah, for a good 20, 25 years now, yeah, we've been using them a long time. Okay. So what, what actually took you to time, sir, over the other options that are and out there? Just the quality of the materials and um, how well they're made and it's just, it just does a much nicer job, much nicer finish. And, and obviously the kit, and did you buy, obviously this, this is a, a master kit and a mini master kit and, a, and an individual kit, does that, does that influence your you're purchasing or, or what you're doing because obviously you can buy it individually or you can have it as a kit? Yeah, I mean, originally I bought like the main big, the larger kit and then I've, it depends what they are, but quite often now we get some of the odd sizes because we've got nearly every kit. So yeah, they all tend to come in the smaller kits. Yeah, and, that, and that's really helps your company or just so you yes. don't have to buy the big lot again? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the large kit's great starter kit, you know, for yeah. when you, okay. you know, get used to it. No, that, that's really good. And obviously, um, we do obviously a quite a range, so does that, does that also influence on what you can have and what you can't have? Yes, it does, yeah. I mean, we do a lot of unusual sizes. You do a lot of the imperial sizes as well as all the metric sizes, so yeah. So obviously our range of both metric and imperial also helps your yeah, business Yeah, very much that. so. Also, the process that runs in it, uh, does, that, does that help you? Or yeah, you... It's, it's very simple to use. I mean, all you've got to remember is as long as you get the pilot hole drilled straight, yep. The rest of it follows and use a bit of lubricant on the, the inserts when you do them. Um, yeah, it's just, it's very simple and easy to use. Yeah, even some sort of lowly panel beater can manage it. Even some lowly, old panel beater. Yeah, oh, it. right, okay, that's cool, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to remember when I find one, yeah. <laughs> so, um, if the time cert wasn't available, what would the process be? Yeah, it'd be get quite difficult. I mean, with something like this, for argument's sake, we'd end up having to re-weld the old holes up where it's worn out re-drill it, re-tap it again, and then you're into a minefield because then you may have to machine the cylinder head because when the heat going into it might distort it. So a so, proper minefield then, yeah, really? It could be, yeah, very much so. So the time set actually helps you immensely? Yeah, yeah it does, very much so. Yeah. And also threads into aluminium yeah. is never as strong as into a steel. So if you, if you insert a thread with steel yeah. and then the, the, the corresponding bolt going in and out a lot more, you get a lot more use out of it. It doesn't stretch the threads if they're over tight. So that helps really when you're doing race engines and yeah, that very, type of yeah, thing? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's really good. So, Tony, I understand there's uh, one of your employees that you wanted to take through time cert today? Uh, yeah, Zach. Yeah, he's a young lad that's been with us for a little while now. He's not done this before, so it'd be good for him to see the process. Okay, that'll be great. And so we'll get young Zach in. What we're going to do now is going to take Zach through the uh, process of a time cert repair. Okay, so uh, can you explain what we've got here, Zach? Uh, we've got a Volkswagen Beetle head um, and, well, a couple of studs have snapped and threads are worn out. So, so this is a, a typical scenario that you would get yeah. in the workshop yeah. every, every week. It's something that you will get. So obviously on stripping the engine down, you found that obviously on this exhaust Exhaust side, yeah? Yep, okay. exhaust, yeah. That's good. Um, so there's a, a stud that's broken and a stud that's stripped. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to, obviously we need to remove that one, but on this one, we're actually going to repair it. And as this is your, your first time of actually doing it, well, we're actually going to let you do it. So, yep. okay, you all up for this one? Definitely. Yeah. Good, good. Right, right, so. So what we're actually going to do in, in to get into repairing this, we're going to use a time circuit, okay? So what we have here, Zach, I'll quickly just do that, if you come here. Right, so. Obviously, well, what size is that? Is that like a, an M8 ball 1.25? Okay, so in the kit here, this is a master kit. We have M5, M6, M8, M10, and M12. So we're actually going to use this section here, which is M8. Okay, so the tooling we're going to need um, is a drill, a counter sinker, a tap, and an insertion tool. So we'll put all that there so we can take you through this, okay? That's the process, okay? But I'll tell you a little bit about time, sir, and what makes it different. Okay, so you take that, okay? So I'll take one of these. Right, so what actually makes it different? So you have got a solid insert, okay? Yeah. Right, so <clears throat> it is the same thread OD and the same thread pitch of what you're actually trying to achieve in there, okay? And if you look at it, there's, if you look on the top, there's a, t there's a collar on the top, yeah? So the idea about that is so that when you put that into there, it, it will stop, it self-locking, yeah? So it yeah. stops, it doesn't go too deep, okay? And if you look on the bottom of the insert on there, can you see the threads aren't actually formed, yeah? So the idea behind that is that it's slightly tapered inside. So as you, as you insert it into the head, it actually locks at the top with the collar and at the bottom with the threads, because what they do, it cold yeah. rolls that into place and locks that in place. Yep. So there's no thread lock leaded, no pins, no lugs, anything like that, okay? So that's the idea yep. behind the insert, okay? We'll put that back. So, as we got here, so you said this is eight by 1.25. So in this kit, so these are, this is the M8 insert, you get two different lengths of insert. So there we go, there's one, there's two, okay? So. The first things first, right, what we're actually going to do is to remove the damaged thread. So if you look in there, that's the damaged thread. Yep. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually use the drill. Now the drill is actually, all of the drills, all of these, the drill, the countersinker, the tap, and the insertion tool are all machined especially for that job. So they're, they are exactly for eight by 1.25. Yep. Okay, right, so tap holder. All right, okay, so if you put that in there, that'd be great. And what we're also going to use, we're going to use some cutting oil, yeah? The idea about this is, obviously, it speeds up the job, but it also makes the tooling last longer, okay? Right, you got that in there? Yep. Nice one, okay? Good, all right? And what we do then, take that, and we're going to squirt that onto there, and then, so you drill that out, so, okay? Right, got it? Yep. If you bring that up, if you look at it, it's going in at an angle. Yep. So what you want to do, you actually want it up a bit. That's it, you've got it, there you go. So it looks so it's level, up a bit. And what you'll do, all this is actually doing now is actually taking off the tip of the, so the tip of the... Um, it drops all the way through. Oh, it's a through hole. That's good yeah. then, I didn't realise, it. I thought it was a blind hole. Okay, that's a good thing. It's actually a through hole, so that's good. So that is now come out the other side, so take that out. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do then, so we'll just clean that out. So if you take a bit of, bit of that, we'll clean out that. Okay, brilliant. Okay, that's cool. So that's the, that's the drill, that's step one. Okay, so the next bit we're going to do is obviously, that's it, yeah, is the countersinker. Okay, now the countersinker, can you see, it's got a shoulder. So you've act, all you're going to do is you're going to put a countersink round there, the depth of that. So if you put that in the, in the tap holder, okay, okay, and we put a little bit of that on there, okay, right. So just got to go down yeah, to... Yeah, so you've just got to take that out until you've got a, yeah. That's it, you've got it. So what Zach's actually doing here is actually putting a countersink in the head so that the time sir actually sits below the surface. Because obviously when you go to put the manifold back on, you don't actually want it sitting proud. So that's, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, so are right? we there? Let's just have a quick... Yeah, I reckon that's about... 
if you, if you want to just check it, we just wash that, you just clean that off. Okay, right. Now, what you can also do, a little tip here now is, if you take the insert, yep. okay, if you take the insert, okay, and you put it in upside down, and what that will do, yeah, can you actually see that the collar actually sitting below the surface? Yeah. So, when you can't see the collar, that means that it's actually deep enough and you've actually yeah. made the canvas sink big enough. So that's cool, right? So we're, that's good to go on that one. Now it comes the, the most important bit, because what we've got to do now is we're now going to tap it. So if you put that in the tap holder, yeah. That's good. Right, now, what we've got to do now is actually make sure that this is actually parallel, uh, sorry, yeah. at right angles to the head. Yeah, because if you put it in, if you put it in at an angle, what happens is the insert will go at an angle, and then you'll end up with a bit sticking out, and we won't actually, you won't actually, the manifold will actually start to blow. Yeah. So this is a very important bit. So what you do is you take the, oh, put a bit of tapping oil on there, put a bit of oil on there. Okay. Right. Now, sit. Now start that, and what I do is look. If you if you get down, if you come down, right, you can actually see if you stand. You stand there, right? Can you actually see? Yeah. That's what you want to do. So if you tap that in, go on, wind it in, and just tap it in, you just put it in a few, a few, that's it, a few turns, then it's held, then you can actually see, then you can adjust this accordingly. That's it. Okay, and again, does that yeah. look square? That's perfect. Yeah, and look at it from the top, and look at it from the side. Yep. Okay, right. So you're happy with that? Yep. Good. On your red be it. Okay, so there we go. That's good. Okay. So you can't, you, that's right the way through now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so take it out then. That's cool. Great. Okay, so we'll now quickly wash that out. And go and wipe that off. Now, this is the really important bit now, is that um, you want to make sure that that is really clean inside so there's no swarf left in there. Because even the slightest bit of swarf in there, because the tolerances are so tight on the insert against where you drilled it, even the smallest bit of swarf will, will actually stop the process. Yeah. Okay? Well, the, the step four now is the insertion tool. So put the insertion tool in the tap holder. Yeah, you in? Yep. Okay, and then what we do then is you put a tiny little bit of oil. Oh, that's got a swarf on it. Tiny little bit of oil on there, and then you screw the insert on with the collar at the, the collar first. Collar, yeah, that's it. That's it. Beautiful. You put a tiny little bit of oil on that as well, obviously, to help it. Now, and you screw that into there. Okay, now. Right. Yeah. Now what you should do, you should be able to do that, and it should actually... There you go. It and that should, there you go. Right, there you go. Now, can you feel that now starting to get a little tighter? Yeah. Because what happens is the insert has now bottomed out, yeah, inside the recess. So now keep going. Right, you can feel that started getting tighter now? Yeah. Well, what that's actually doing now is actually cold rolling the end of it. So the, 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 lock, the locking mechanism at the top has worked, and now the locking mechanism at the bottom is starting to work. So keep going. There you go. There you go. That, you know, we quickly give that a wash off. Okay. And quickly give that, and there you have time cert repair. So there we go. So that was Zach's first job, first time at a time cert repair, and I think he's done a great job. So uh, there you go, time cert, simple as that. So there we have it. Thanks for letting us into your workshop today, Tony. We really do appreciate it. And uh, for those of you watching, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.